Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Take a seat. We won't keep you for long. What we want to show you today is a very quick demonstration of a wonderful, wonderful product from Hambleside Dane Law, and it's called Fast Flash. You put lead flashing on the roof, 10 minutes later, it's gone. Environmentally, there are a lot of countries phasing out lead altogether now. If you go to Europe, there's a lot of countries won't have any lead flashing because of the contamination to the water. So we're looking for new products, we're looking for new ways of doing it, but of course we don't want to compromise on the quality. This is the product, beautiful but with polymer rubber front. It's encased with an aluminium grid on the inside. It expands 60% lengthways, 20% width, which means that when we dress it, it'll go into the profile without losing its form along the top. We've got a plastic backing which is serrated. You take the top off and then get it into place on the rig. The thing with the product, if you don't get it in the right place, you've got half an hour, 45 minutes depending on the heat. Once you've got it in place, you can start dressing it on. You can just stick it to the brickwork or whatever, it will yeah. stick. But obviously a lot of people want to chase that in and you can use it like ordinary lead, make your chase and fold it into the, the course, yeah? yeah. You can also leave the plastic on, so any trades that are working above you, if you get any drips off paint, off plaster, leave that on. At the end of the job, you can take it off. Once you've got it in place, if you take the rest of it off, get it in place, all you need is your hands. You can use dressers, but just your hands will do it. Start working it light lead, work it from the back, down onto the roof. You take the plastic, off the top if you wish, tidy the job up, you can use your dresser. Find the corner, slit it up, wrap it round the corner, dress that other bit down, nice and neatly across, trim off to wherever you need it. On this corner, what I'm going to do is show you two different ways of dressing it round the corner. You can use a knife, you can even cut it with scissors. Mm. Get it in place to where you want it. That's already watertight now. That's stuck solid back to back, nice and tight. We're going to cut that down. Stanley again. Fold it over. Take the backing off again, dress it down onto the, around the side of the chimney. Fold that joint over, that's that side finished. As quick and easy as that. Another way of cutting it round the corner, get it into place down the side. Dress it down. That's, that's my favourite way that's of doing it. That's your favourite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because it's belt and braces, it's folded, welted, stuck down. What we're going to do is cut it down again. You only need about a centimetre. Slice it straight down. Just work it nicely round the corner. That's three sides of a chimney already done. I think it's important to say that what, what Paul's done here, you wouldn't do that with lead because if you do it with code four lead and you start whacking it and stretching it, you're thinning the material and it will split. But with this, it, because yeah. it's got such a lot of stretch, you can actually push it down. The only adhesion you need is about, fi about 50 mil. The rest of it can be left like that, or you can dress it right back. It's totally up to you. As long as you've got 50 mil of dressing on it, that's all that matters. Where it comes into its own as well, instead of having a great big piece of lead over the saddle, just a nice thin strip. You've got nearly 100 mil there. That's totally watertight. 100% adhered to the fiberglass. After half an hour, it starts to cure. As well for the plumbers that are in here, 
I did that within about 10 minutes, fully adhered round the pipe, fully adhered on the roof. If you've got any scraps from it, save them. You can use that for repairs. Stick it on until you can get back and do the job properly. There's no wastage in this whatsoever. Yeah, one thing I will say that I have used this product and when I, when I first used it, I folded it thinking I wanted to get myself a crease down there and I folded it and I left it in the sun for about 20 minutes and when I went back and I tried to get it apart, I couldn't tear it apart because what it actually does is it starts to knit together and then it becomes one piece of material. The seam is no longer there. Yeah. And honestly, you've got time to work with it, you've got half an hour to work with it, but over that, and if you ever do this, if you ever stick it round like that, here. Yeah, he's pulled it back. No, 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 press it down, press it down. <laughs> it's a good job, I would have lost the fibre there, wouldn't I, look. Just press it down. And it starts to knit together, now, now give it a go. And if you do it again, you're fired. No, no, no. <laughs> Here, no, 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 try, no. try it like that. Look, what I'm saying is, look, pull it. Now back right. to back. I'm not doing this demo. That's back to back. That's an instant cure when you do it back to back. On the top, you've oh, got half okay, an hour that's, before it That's cures. my fault, I did it wrong. Okay, it's that way around. All right, cheers. Fiver, yeah. he wants a fiver. <laughs>